Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial. Here I will show you how to create topographic hillshades in QGIS using global topography. So these data sets have horizontal coordinates that are in degrees and elevation that can be in meters or feet. And there's a special step that we have to do in creating these hillshades to make them look as we would expect. So as a review, here is a topographic hillshade, and it's a very powerful approach for visualizing what a landscape looks like. And it's very important uh, for many applications to calculate the hillshade using different azimuths and altitudes of the light. So now we're going to go to QGIS, and here is an example of global topography that I downloaded from Open Topography. And the first approach that we're going to do uh, is a very simple approach for creating a hillshade. So I'll show you that. So we're gonna go here to Global Topography, Symbology, Render Type, Hillshade. Okay, so here's our hillshade. It looks a little bit funky, right? It doesn't look like, looks like we have sharp changes in slope and we don't see those gradual uh, sort of changes in slope and the gray colors that we're looking to see in topographic hillshades. So let's click that again and let's look at information. So here we see I can go down and look at the coordinate reference system or CRS. We see that the horizontal coordinates of this data set are in EPSG 4326 WGS 84. So this is latitude and longitude for the horizontal coordinates. And it means that our uh, horizontal coordinates are in units of degrees and the uh, vertical units are in meters. And QGIS needs to know that the data sets, that the horizontal and vertical coordinates are in different units for it to calculate the topographic hillshade correctly. So let's go back to symbology and we're going to set it back to what it looked like before. So that is single band gray. And we'll say, okay. So now it does just look like a DEM. To make this hillshade correctly, we need a scaling factor, which is called the Z factor, for uh, informing QGIS of the different scale of our horizontal and vertical units. Uh, in other words, that one degree is very different length than one meter. And so um, Z factors, they're online, you can look them up. I like to search uh, Z factor topographic hillshade, and then this ArcGIS uh, page often comes up either at the top or fairly early. Um, here it is setting the Z factor parameter correctly. And you can zoom down. The Z factor is vary by latitude. And then also if the vertical units are in meters or feet. And in this case, for our data set, the vertical units are in uh, feet, and we're about at uh, 30 degrees latitude here in this is an area in Texas. So we'll just copy that Z factor, and then we'll go back to QGIS. We're gonna now create a raster and formally save it. So we'll go to raster, analysis, hillshade, and here we have our options. So for input layer, we do want to check that our global topography is the data that we are, is the file or the layer that we're using. Um, and then here, the important part is this Z factor. So we'll just copy or paste that value. Uh, we have the azimuth of 315 degrees, and that's good. But as I've discussed in other videos, we do want to ideally make hill shades with different angles to really visualize the landscape. And then we'll say hill shade, 
save to file, global, Topo, fill shade, and then I do like to add in the azimuth angle. Save, run, close. So here it is. So now this is what our topographic hill shade looks like using this Z factor. And it does look much more of what we would expect a topographic hill shade to look like where we see these uh, much more gray colors and subtle changes from the hill shade.